Stop buying ragu. Don't go to the grocery store and buy a can of tomato sauce or a jar of it. Don't do that. Make your own. Today, we're going to make everyday pasta sauce. Look, this is so easy. I want you to look right here. That's everything you need right there. A little basil, onion, garlic, tomato paste, a little uh, peeled tomatoes, San Marzano, hopefully. Some uh, balsamic, which is to die for. This stuff is fantastic. It's concentrated. It's thicker. Some spices. And that's it. And you have your own everyday pasta sauce. Make it at the beginning of the week. Use it a couple of times during the week, whatever you want to do. Stop buying ragu and all that other stuff. It, yeah, it's easy. Look, and if you got kids, you're telling me to take a long hike right now. And that's fine. You should. But if you don't, Make everyday pasta sauce, and I'm about to show you how. Here we go. Okay, right out of the bat, one onion. Here we go, chop fest. Oh, I'm so sad. You guys have to know. That you cry when you peel onions. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It depends on how long it takes. I took my time, and so I'm a little emotional at the moment. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up the old stove over here. I got a nice little pot to do this in. I'm gonna put, a, I don't know, about a tablespoon and a half, maybe two tablespoons of butter in there because we know that works well. The oil helps the butter not burn that kind of stuff. I'm calling it a pasta sauce. It's tomato sauce. It's what it is. It's tomato sauce. But, you know, when you buy the jar, it says pasta sauce. and you go in the aisle, it says pasta sauce. So, I don't know. I think that's more generic. Some people freak out over tomato sauce. Pasta sauce is what it is. Okay. All right. So, that's what you want. See some bubbling happening there. Let's throw in the, these onions. Now, look, I, I think... I think it was a little too much. I'm going to use about two thirds of that onion. The whole thing was just a little too much. There you go. Get it in there and sweat them down. I love what they look like as soon as they hit that butter and that oil. Yeah, buddy. While that's happening, three cloves of garlic. Oh, look. I love it when you open up a clove of garlic and there's actually two in there you get a little bonus garlic. Well, we're not gonna throw that away. And then of course, the old garlic press, which I showed you before. If you don't have one, please, 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 please go get one. They're so amazing. Let's throw the garlic in. Right on top, mix it around. We're gonna leave that in for about a minute. Let the garlic get nice and fragranty. Fra fragranty? Is that a word? Fra fra we wanna have the fragrance of the garlic before we move on. Okay, now, star of the show. San Marzano tomatoes. Except no substitution, folks. I'm just telling you, San Marzano's is the way to go. You want to get whole peel tomatoes. You can see how beautiful that is. They're like, well, I can't get in there, but they're like, kind of like Roma tomatoes, right? Do I get that? Yeah, there you go. And what you're going to do is, right over your pot with your hands, squish them and put them in. Got to use your hands, folks. It feels good. It squishes them into the right kind of size that you want for your tomatoes. Don't get your hands too far in there because it's hot. <laughs> Ooh, boy. And pour the sauce in. Just like that. I gotta wash my hands. Okay, let's get all of this love and goodness working together. You see how we're making some pasta sauce here, gang? Holy cow. I feel the love.
Okay, now a couple of secret ingredients. We're going to put some, boy, I need a new one almost, tomato paste, just a couple of tablespoons, and then we're going to put in some balsamic vinegar. Now this is concentrated balsamic vinegar. My wife tells me they make, the way they make it, they, they basically reduce this down. It's almost a syrup, right? So the flavors are very concentrated and very powerful. So you only want a tablespoon of this sucker, but this is going to turn this sauce into something amazing. All right, so let's do paste first. That's about a tablespoon there. I'm just going to roll the whole thing in. There you go. That's good. That sucker's dead. Man down. We'll fold that in. All right, now, secret sauce, here we go. Pour this in right here so you can see right in. About that much. That's it. And you see it changes the color of the sauce, makes it a deep red, which I freaking love. Oh, it does smell. <laughs> this is beautiful. See how it's looking, gang? And you want to go out and buy a dang jar of ragu. People are nuts. Come on now. All right, let's uh, spice this up. Now look, we've been putting a ton of acid in this with the tomatoes and the tomato paste and all that kind of stuff. So like you do with a lot of sauces like this, we're gonna put in about a tablespoon of sugar, about that much, to kind of lighten the load and not make it not so not half so much acidity, I guess is the way I want to say it. Very common in a lot of pasta sauces to do that. Because I like a little bit of the heat, red pepper flakes. There. And then some oregano. Just kind of cover the top with oregano. There you go. I'm going to go way down the simmer at this point because it's really doing well oh lord the smell look it, this has only been what it's only i mean i'm editing this of course but it really has only taken me about 12 minutes to do this ragu i guess i'm blowing any shot of ever being sponsored by ragu <laughs> okay All right. we didn't put any s and p in there so let's do that there we go We put red pepper flakes, but this is a different pepper taste. Some pepper in there. It is no wonder I am not skinny. There's no wonder. Look, I work out. I did yoga this morning. I played golf two days in a row. But then I come home and eat this stuff, which is fine. It's a balance. We're having fun. Okay, what am I doing now? That's it. You know what? That's it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the lid on it and I'm going to let it soak. If you can let it soak for 30, I know we, we live busy lives. If you can let it soak for at least 30 minutes, it will be wonderful. If you can do it for an hour or two, that's even better. But I'm going to let it go for 30 minutes and I'll cook some pasta while I'm doing it. Okay, trust me, your house will smell amazing. People will come running down the street just to know what the heck is that that smells so good in your house. All right, let's take a look at it. It's been sitting here for a little over 30 minutes. Whoo, baby. This is what I'm talking about. Whoop, who's beeping? Oh, that's my timer telling me that the pasta is ready. What perfect timing. How about that? Okay, look. Let's shift some things around. Yikes. Move this bad boy over there. Let's bring this in here. Let's put some of this fabulous sauce in there. Just like that. And then I got my uh, handy dandy pasta net that I so love. I made some penne. You know, it's just whatever you have in the house, right? So I had some penne over there. So we're using penne. And then 
we just mix it up. Let's get a little more sauce in there. But again, folks, you saw how simple and quick this was. I'm going to try to do the restaurant flip. We'll see what happens. Woo, look at that. Look at me. Once I did that and pasta went flying all over the kitchen. Let's cheese it up. What do you say? Got to have some cheese, right? Look at that. You bet you do. All right. Here we go. This is the fun part. The fun begins. Now, actually, it's been fun the whole time, but there you go. And of course, let's cheese it up some more. Beautiful. Cat just ran by. Did you see that? Cat wants some too. A little basil as we should. And that's it, gang. Every day, pasta slash tomato sauce. Okay, well, since I have lost all hope of ever being sponsored by Ragu, I'll go ahead and taste this and I'll commit fully to it. Again, just tomatoes, garlic, onions, all the good stuff, oregano, what the hell else did I put in there? Red pepper flakes and the balsamic, the concentrated balsamic is really something else. That and the combination of the San Marzano's. Ugh. Let's try it, shall we? It's really hot. You told me I had something on my shirt. I had something on my shirt. Holy cow, it's great. Wow. Look, again, it's so easy to make. And you can make it on Sunday, right? Throw it in the fridge and you can make pasta several times a week. And it's right there. And it's better than ragu. Oh my Lord. And you can make it the way you want to make it. Throw a lot of chili pepper flakes in there if you want or not. It's up to you. You're the boss. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day. See you next time.